In this movie, we're going to take a look at setting up Live's preferences for working with this course. We're going to set up our audio and MIDI preferences very quickly, and we're going to take a look at a couple other important things that need to be set up to work with Live. We'll also be coming back to Live's preferences later on throughout this course as we need to work with specific functionality. On a Windows computer, you'll be accessing Live's preferences from the bottom of the Options menu. On a Mac, you're going to go to Live and Preferences. The first thing that shows up here are my audio preferences. And what I'm going to do here is just set up my audio input device, which is going to be my built-in audio for now. And this can be any um, audio interface that you have. Your computer probably has a built-in audio interface of some sort, certainly if you're on a Mac and probably on Windows as well. Or you may have a third-party audio interface like an M-Audio or DigiDesign. Um, hardware interface that you use to record into your computer. For your audio output device, this can also be your same uh, audio interface that you use for input, or it can be something else that you've got your monitors or speakers hooked up to. Again, for right now, I'm going to choose built-in audio, but I'm going to come back to this when we uh, get into audio recording into live. The rest of these settings we can leave alone for right now. These are very basic settings that Live sets up for you. And the same is true for your file and folder, record, warp, and launch settings, and CPU settings as well. If you have a MIDI keyboard or MIDI control surface, you're going to want to go to the MIDI sync preferences. Make sure that your control surface is recognized here. And if it's not, you could actually look through here and choose it from the drop down menu if it's available but you'll want to make sure it's connected and powered on. And once it's recognized, you're going to want to go over here and turn on the MIDI input track and MIDI input remote functionality. We're going to be using that functionality to record MIDI information and also to control various aspects of live. So that's going to be a lot of fun later on. And we do actually want to go to the file folder preferences here because there's something else very important you're going to want to set up. Now, if these buttons are not already on, you're going to want to go ahead and activate the use audio units. If you're on a Mac, you won't have that option on Windows. And on Windows and Mac, you'll want to ch click the use PC plugin system folders or custom folders if you have a custom folder of VST plugins set up. When you click this Use VST Plugin System Folders button for the first time, it's going to scan your system for all of your installed VST plugins. And you can rescan if you've installed new plugins by clicking the Rescan button. So those are Live's basic preferences, and once those are in place, you can proceed with the rest of this course.